Hi guys! Okay, so as requested by majority of my friends um, and bored na ako sa lockdown I decided to shoot um, this vlog tonight so it's actually 7.38pm Easter Sunday so happy Easter Sunday to everyone so anyway, ayun um, if I flash ko naman what this is about but um, we're going to tackle tackle um, some questions from our followers and subscribers um, about anything about crush or love relationship, even marriage. Kanya. So, sorry na rin sa background music kasi nga, di ba, lockdown. So, I'm with my family now. I'm here in Las Piñas. Nandito ako sa sala kung saan may mga pa-organ at may pa-drum set. So, ayun. Um, sige. As I will flash also the questions sa screen so that you can um, relate, to, relate to it. Okay? Sige. Ayun. Sige, start na tayo. Ano pala? Um, the questions were, syempre, asked to me randomly sa IG or sa Messenger or sa FB. May humabol pa sa Viber. So, I kind of grouped them together para medyo fluid pa rin yung ating vlog for today. I'll try to make it short. Okay? Sige. So, first question. Medyo mabigat na siya. First question pa lang. This is from Gina. And actually, related yung dalawang questions niya. So, I'm gonna answer them together. The first question is, paano mo malalaman kung susuko pa na? Pinagdadaanan talaga itong friend ko na ito eh. And, kailan mo dapat bigyan ng second chance? So, bring ko siya together kasi feeling ko kaya nililipid sila. Um, ano ba? For me, yeah. so again, the disclaimer ako. So, I'm gonna give as advice or answers to the questions would be based from my experience. So, kayo na bahala kung you want to follow or you want to use me as your guide. Use me as your guide. Okay, sige. For me, um, Ako kasi yung tipo ng tao na hindi sumusuko agad. So, if na-exert ko na lahat ng effort ko, wala nang what ifs, wala nang questions, hanging, um, and wala pa rin, then, diba, parang it's, it's time to let go. Kasi syempre, you have to be fair to yourself din eh. Na, hindi man pwedeng forever ka na mag- hahang on dun sa tao na hindi ka naman pinipili. ba? Tapos, kung kailan bigyan ng kailan dapat bigyan ng second chance? Well, a second chance, not the movie, um, I think it's something that a person needs to um, to earn. Parang trust. Kasi syempre, second chance nga, ba? So parang nawalan ka na ng tiwala dun sa tao na yun. So, kailangan ma-earn niya ulit yung trust mo. Na, kumbaga parang mapakita niya sa'yo na deserving siya to, to be given a second chance. So, let's say, um, hindi ka, andun ka pa sa part na ginagawa mo palang lahat or you're trying to to make an effort for your relationship. And then, um, may siya sa'yo ng second chance kasi nagkamali siya once or twice, ganun. So, parang, sige, this time, magbabago na talaga ako and mapakita niya sa'yo na sincere siya talaga. In, um, kung baga siya naman yung mag -e effort this time, then I think that's, you know, that's, that's deserving of a second chance. That's for the grouped question for Gina. Thank you so much, B, for your question. Sige, move on tayo sa next. This one is from Danica. Um, anong may advice mo sa mga taong iniwan sa ere? Lalo na sa matagal mag-move on. Tapos 
naka parenthesis pa like years makakarte <laughs> like years ha? um this is actually similar to the advice that I gave my friend um kasi parang he sees broken from um, a, a long time relationship um tas parang feeling niya wala siyang closure so for me um it's best for you to get that closure closure in a sense na hindi mo kailangan na makipag-meet ulit din sa person magkape kayo or whatever no um it's um it's also acceptance kasi nga parang um like what i said dun sa previous question if you've exerted all your efforts tapos wala nang what ifs pinigay mo na lahat lahat ubos na ubos ka na ganun um tas wala pa rin then i think it's you know it's it's um it's a matter of of accepting the fact na it's not gonna continue anymore na wala nang patutunguhan so parang kailangan kailangan ko nang um kailangan ko na siyang itabi and um become a better person para maging handa ka by the time na dumating yung, tam yung tamang tao para sa so yun kasi if you cling on to the past tapos parang hindi ka um paano ba hindi mo mapatawad yung sarili mo or hindi mo siya mapatawad ba parang it's going to be unfair for the person who's gonna come to your life and willingly give everything to you um eh, ikaw parang either konti lang yung kaya mong ibigay or hindi mo buong mabibigay yung sarili mo so kailangan buuin mo muna yung sarili mo medyo cliche siya pero um you need to you need to fulfill everything for yourself first before you know you can say na okay okay na ako buo na ako ulit and um here comes a new person um who's willing to give his or her his or her heart to me then it's it's just going to be fair kasi kaya mo ring pantayan or higitan yung pagmamahal na kaya yung ibigay sa iyo ng bagong tao okay so yeah. So, dun sa mga matagal mag-move on, just ko, guys, manaming pa dyang iba. Ano ba yan? Okay. Tapos, next. Meron tayong isang anonymous question. Because ayaw niyang, <laughs> ayaw niyang, ano, maging public. So, ang question niya ay, um, why do we, why do we lose the ones we love? Sorry, medyo maingi. <laughs> Sana na-review niyo pa rin ako. Anyway, um, the third question, or sorry, fourth na pala siya technically. Why do we lose the ones we love? Medyo ano to? <laughs> Medyo ma-movie, ganun. Um, ano ba? It's not really losing. Ano eh, um, there will come a point or halimbawa, syempre sa dami ng mga namimit mo, diba? Hindi hindi na ma eventually you get to know um, each other tapos um, in the process uh, either both of you or isa sa inyo ma feel na ay parang hindi kami match nitong person na to so para um, yun, yun lang naman yung reason for me or um, hence the pambababae or panlalaki or um, looking for someone else Diba? So, parang nagkataon na ganun. Kasi, you know, I have I have so many friends who are still together with their first boyfriend or girlfriend. So, okay. Kayo na yung maswerte at kayo ng anak ng Diyos. Char. But, I have friends also who have loved so many people pero iniwan lang din sila or hindi sila mahal na taong mahal nila. Ganun. So, ako, ako mismo, um, the, the whole 35 years of my, of my existence, parang I've, you know, I've, I've lost people whom I love, 
And ano lang, hindi pa to kasama yung mga excess. Yung mga unrequited love. Yan, marami din ako yan. So, ano eh, well, it, it's either hindi kayang sumugal yung tao na yun sa'yo o hindi niya kayang pantayan yung pagmamahal na pinibigay mo sa kanya. Kaya, we lose them. So, kaya nga sinasabi nila na parang, if you really love them, let, let them go. So, feeling ko yun yung ibig sabihin talaga. Okay, so thank you. Oh. And then, okay, si Rael, na question din, no? kakagulat naman. Okay, ang tanong niya, Madam, we were to broken hearts ko. <laughs> Sasagad, Char. Um, ako, ano ba, every time I get my heart broken, to be honest, I go to my friends. So, siguro majority sa inyo, ganun din. But, I, you know, I go to my friends. Um, sometimes, I go to my family, pag alam nila. Pag alam nila. <laughs> hi, ma. Hi, dad. <laughs> um, ayun. Um, it's... Feeling ko it helps that you talk to someone you trust about what you're feeling. Kasi nga, di ba, um, sinasabi din nila, usually, yung reason kung bakit nag bakit medyo babaliw yung mga tao sa pag-ibig kasi nga parang they don't um, they, they don't talk about it so parang hindi nila nalalabas hindi silang iyak so ako hindi ako talaga hindi ako um, there was also a time that I went to the church and um, did a confession um, ano pa ba pero yun talaga yung ano takbuhan ko talaga friends ko so it's not a place um, but for me, you know, you, you go somewhere where people can listen to you and um, understand what you're feeling and, you know, lift you up. Because, anyway, um, literally, we're down, if, you know, if we're brokenhearted. So, ayun. So, so, shout out to my friends who, I know, and yeah, yeah, I'm going to eat, and I'm going to nag ano nagbanta na bubugbugin yung mga nanakit sa akin. Nagbanta rin naman yung mali na ginawa. Okay? Okay, next question. Okay, so this one is from Fatima. So medyo ano, medyo galing sa mga high school friends ko talaga to questions. <laughs> Supportive sila sige. So, so this is from Fatima. Doktora Fatima Laxa. So anong mapapayo mo sa taong takot magmahal ulit? Um Ako kasi, I don't know if I'm afraid. Pero parang feeling ko, um, parang, ang, ang cheesy nga, pero parang feeling ko, parang hindi ako marunong mahal. Oh, um, but, you know, I, I come to realize na sa sobrang dami nung hurt na pinagdaanan ng isang tao, chances are, you know, this person would um, try to build um, a wall. Diba? Parang figuratively a, a wall um, to, to guard your heart. So, feeling ko, feeling ko may pagkaganan ako. Um, parang masyado ka nag-iingat kasi nga, alam mo na what you've been through, alam mo kung gaano kasakit. So, ayun, um, for me, it's you know, kahit na na you build that wall, parang you, you still um, try to you know, get to get to know people around you, parang um, explore, kasi parang yun nga, if, if you limit your circle, kasi parang syempre less chances of ano, winning yan, so, diba? Um, I've try different um, hobbies or adventures or even sport um, after I get my heart broken um, I get to meet different people so ayun, tas eventually um, alam naman yun eh pag naniniwala ako na pag dumating yung person you know, you can, you can feel it tas parang siya na mismo yung magbubreak ng wall na yun na binil mo uh, without you even knowing. So, it takes time. It takes time. Char. So, yeah. <laughs> Next. Okay, this one is from Ange naman. Wow. 
Okay, based from, speaking of my experiences, based from your experience, what is the best advice you can give about love? Um, I've been telling this to majority of my friends, I would say. Um, yung love kasi for me, love is parang it's, it's just an emotion that you feel on set. So, syempre, una, ma-attract ka din sa person, either sa sense of humor niya, or dahil kwapo siya, or dahil iba't iba tong abs, or, ano, um, or dahil talented siya, magaling sumaya, magaling kumanta. So, it starts there. As, and, and you get to know the person, and you feel na parang may, may strong connection na kayong dalawa. So, um, if, if you go through with it, um, be in a relationship with that person, um, eventually, kasi for me, uh, again, for me, um, it's, it's the love or the feeling of kilig, of yung ganun, um, mawawala rin siya eventually. So, parang sa akin, what, what I am looking for right now, again, based from my experiences, would be um, companionship. So, yung yung taon na makakasundo ko, makakausap ko. So, ayan. I want someone who can talk to me about um, about stuff that I can relate to or even yung mga little things, yung um, mga kwento sa buhay niya nung childhood niya or um, kwento about his day ganun. Um, kasi love and even the physical at, um, attraction or connection would, would fade eh. Kasi either tataba or papayat yung person, tatanda, um, kukuba, ano mo yung kaka-wrinkles, um, um, a person who wears makeup every day eventually, pagtanda niya, hindi na rin siya mag-makeup, so mag-iba yung itsura niya. Ano mo ganun? So, I... I want someone who I can, you know, just lie in bed and just talk. Hindi mo kailangan ng, you know, something intimate. Um, ayun, that's, that's really what for for me is important. Rather than just love, it's companionship. Okay. Yung ano, yung willing na magkaroon ng joint account with me, ganyan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, o oh, sige. Pabilang nga doon na tayo sa mga companionship, companionship na yan. Um, so, Oreo, at ang IG handle niya ay Oreo. Yan daw ang sabihin ko dito sa vlog. Um, she, she sent me a message na, what's your advice sa akin since ikakasal na ako soon? No, nga, nag-delay yung wedding niya actually because of the lockdown. Um, advice on newlyweds on how to keep the fire burning. So, lagi naman natin naririnig to sa wedding, diba? Parang, kasabihin nila sa groom na, ano, happy wife, happy life, ganyan. But it's not just that way. Eh. So, um, like what I mentioned kanina sa previous question. Parang, um, don't focus on the kilig parts. Kasi nga, um, when you get married, you go through a lot. Um, I would say even you could you you'd go through hell talaga. I mean, I, I've seen with my, with my parents, um, they've been separated most of their married life. Kasi nga my dad um, has been working abroad before. Um, actually, mga 36, 37 years siya ng trabaho abroad. Kasi kaka retire lang niya. Um, so marami kayong sacrifices na kailangan. Um, ibigay for the marriage to work but what's important is to keep the communication open and on Ayun. so yun yung natutunan ko rin talaga kahit naman anong relationship eh, even with friends um, with family you know with, with family kasi um, if, if you don't talk about stuff parang it's yung time mo that you spend with your family, it's not gonna be comfortable or parang yung sasabi, medyo parang awkward ganun. Dati, parang iba ako sa bahay and sa friends ko, but 
now, you know, I realize na bakit ko ibahin yung pagkatao ko when I get home. So, eventually, you know, my, my parents got to know more about me. And I felt comfortable um, with them. So, ganun din sa marriage, ba diba? Sa, sa friends nga, if you don't talk to your friends that often, medyo nagkakaroon ng gap, ba diba? So, always um, talk about things. Don't keep secrets. Kasi once, um, once ikasal kayo, sabi nga, ba diba, sa, sa church, you guys are already one. And um, always put um, God in the center of your relationship. Totoo din yun. Um, ang, sabi nga sa kanyang mga ko, ang lalaking mabasabi mo. Tsaka, um, marespeto sa nanay. Um, that guy will, you know, have the same respect to you as um, a wife. Kaya, and si Dada naman ganun yung nafe-feel ko naman. So, okay. Excited na ako for your wedding. Okay, so another anonymous question. <laughs> Hindi ko alam ko. Bakit ito natanong? Would you attend your ex's wedding? Especially if he's your totga. Ha ha ha. May ha ha. So, for those who don't know what totga is, totga means the one who got away. Um, <laughs> I actually attended a wedding of my totga. So, college love ko yun. So, din sa mga college friends ko, alam niyo kung sino yun. Um, I attended this wedding. Um, actually, friends naman kami up until now. Um, at saka pala, sorry, correction, hindi siya ex. Parang ito yung isa sa sinasabi ko na parang unrequited love. Ganun. But, um, after college kasi we've been good friends. And actually, we became closer. So, ayun. Um, okay naman. <laughs> Nag-attend naman. <laughs> Nag-attend naman ako ng wedding niya. It was okay. But, I've never attended a wedding of my, any of my exes. So, maybe you can think about that. Pero, never, ne- never, never ako naka-attend ng kahit anong wedding ng ex ko. Because that would be awkward. <laughs> okay. Tapos, connected siya dito sa next question. Na question ulit ni Gina. Pwede bang maging friends ang mantix? <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm actually friends with my exes. I'm thinking. Hmm. Yung isa, hindi ko na sa Facebook na ginagawang joke namin pag nag-reunion kami ng college friends ko. Um, the next one, ah, ayun, yung next, yeah, major friends. Pero hindi, actually took some time before we became Facebook friends and we don't really talk. Nagkita lang kami one time dito sa village. Yes, kamustahan ka na, pero hindi na parang pagchikahan at pagbesuhan pa. Ganun. Then, what else? Sino ba yung next? Um, yung isa, sa yung jowa niya na, I think wife na niya yung yun. And then, ano pa ba? Mm, yung isa, oo, friends kami, kamustahan lang din sa chat. Pero, we don't, you know, I mean, we, like, we don't talk about, like, meeting up in person or something. Alam ganun. Um, yun. Oh, awkward kasi, um, siguro kung magiging friends, I, I mean, I know people who were in a relationship before, pero ngayon, friends na sila. It can happen. Siguro kung wala masyadong bad blood between the two of you and wala namang ng two time. <laughs> eh, karami na ng ex ko ng two time eh. So, medyo, um, medyo wrong. Okay. So, yun. Medyo connected sila pala. Yeah. Okay. And then, next question. <laughs> this is from Alvin. Um, totoo ba ang three-month rule? Hindi <laughs> ako naniniwala dito. <laughs> Pero, um, for me as 
respect not just to your ex but also to you as a person. Siyempre medyo give it time naman kasi kung parang kung naghiwalay kayo tapos parang naging sila na agad. Parang, di ba parang it it makes you feel, kung ikaw yung naiwan parang it makes you feel na parang pinu time ka or parang there's a possibility na parang they were getting to know each other na kayo pa, parang ganun so yun, parang respect lang um, sa sarili mo na ano na parang katulad ng nasabi ko kanina you have to you have to heal muna completely kasi kahit na ikaw yung nang iwan or ikaw yung naiwan both parties yan, may hurt yan so um, kung ikaw man yung nang iwan you know, give it time um, um, make make yourself or your heart heal mo so depende na yun kung gano'n ka talaga mag heal yung heart mo basta walang um, sa akin, if walang maapakan tao wala kang wala kang aagawin um, I think that's okay. So, yun. Ano lang yan. 3-month rule na yan. Ewan ko. So, actually, so one more chance ko nga lang na yun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next. <laughs> so, this one. So, sabi naman niya, pwede ko daw siyang i-mention. Um, publicity din daw. <laughs> so, Patty asked me this question. Talaga may misway pa talaga dito. Ano po ba mas maganda? Ano po bang mas maganda? Lights on or dim lights? Fast talk, ganyan. Um, ano ba? Personally din. Kasi, hindi ako confident sa mga di ko. <laughs> um, tsaka ang awkward pa ng lights on. Parang may mamafeel yung... Ayun. So, dim. Dim for me. Simple as that. Para mafeel mo yung moment. Okay, next, another anonymous question. Bilang medyo sensitive naman na itong tao. Medyo pa-sensitive na tayo ng pa-sensitive na questions. Ha? So, yung question is, pabor ka ba na magkaroon ka ng karelasyon na katrabaho mo, pero ikaw yung boss tapos tauhan mo siya? HR case ito, te. <laughs> no, um, ano ba? Legally, legally speaking, it's, it's not allowed. Kasi nga, syempre, parang, kunwari sa line of work ko, kunwari, um, kasi I, I take care of their career, um, I give them um, performance ratings. So, syempre, kung, diba, kung may something kayo nung tao na yun, pero, um, may possibility na may bias. So, yung, yung dating niya, baka, baka parang hindi niya deserving yun or parang ganun. So, correct me if I'm wrong to <laughs> question ko dito sa mga HR friends ko. Pero, pag directly reporting, alam ko talaga bawal yun. But, um, pero sa line of work ng tao na nagtanong nito, hindi ko kasi sure eh kung feeling ko naman hindi hindi siya direct report so okay lang because I know people in this industry na um, nagkakaroon ng relationship na, na medyo parang ganito yung setting so ayun pero I am confident that in the BPO and IT industry this is not, this is not allowed <laughs> so ayun Medyo, check mo na lang din with your management. Char. Pag-usapan natin yan. Uh, okay. Next. This question is, um, again, from Ange. Na inihabol pa niya kanina to. Um, top three qualities na common sa mga naging BF mo. May boys pa talaga dito. Top three qualities. Siguro malambing. Kasi, weakness ko yung malambing. Um, at saka um, ano ba sabi nila maliit <laughs> ay mas maliit sa akin <laughs> my god <laughs> medyo mabilis ako nag-correct ano, nag pero ano ba 
hindi naman, parang hindi mo top 3 qualities wala yan. So, malambing, um, matalino. So, gusto ko kasi yung nakakausap ko. So, gusto ko yung meron akong deep conversation. So, yun. Dahil pag wala eh, chugi ka na. Ganun. Um, and, yung showy. Yan. Parang, or may yung mag-surprise. Kasi parang, ako kasi gusto ko yung parang lagi ako sinu-surprise or pinapakita niya sa mga tao sa pagigid ko na may something kami or kami ni gano'n. So, yun yung gusto ko. Okay, next. Ito, nagpalo ni Muslim Iti. <laughs> How should you handle a womanizer? Hmm. Kasi lahat ng mga ex ko nga, tinutime ako. So, Diba? Dati kasi medyo tanga-tanga pa ako kaya I didn't really know how to handle it or them. But, hmm. Ano ba? Kunwari, kunwari lang naman. Diba? Magkaroon ako ng relationship now and then bilang um, ng bababae pala. Parang sa akin, why would we parang why would we prolong the relationship pa if ganun naman kumbaga parang um, I, naniniwala din naman ako na may mga naging cheater nun na nagbago na because I've seen them as in nakita ko sila I, 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 I'm still friends with them even um, nakita ko kung paano sila with their GFs at that time, ganun. Pero nung nakita na nila yung katapat nila, which would be their wives now, um, magtino naman sila. But, you know, there's still some few people na sinasabi nga nila na once a cheater, always a cheater. Ganun. May mga ganun pa rin tao. So, if hindi siya um, satisfied sa kung anong meron kayo din, Ibig sabihin nun, parang hindi kayo match. Yun lang yung naisip ko. So, why prolong the relationship? Diba? Wala na. Annulment na. Ganyan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ito, next question. <laughs> hindi pala ito pa seryoso. So, parang medyo pa joke na yung iba dito. <laughs> so, si Kay, nag, nag, uh, naghabol pa siya ng question. Okay. Dito. Question. <laughs> Ano ang size ng pati mo sa soen? P.S. Pakibalik sa akin yung soen sticker kasi may collection ako niyan na nasa sticker um, Unfortunately, I do not buy my undies in soen anymore. So, nung high school, nung grade school, nung grade school lang ako, tsaka high school nga siguro. Yun yung may Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Si Baby yung flower design, Baby yung kulay, ganun. So, ko alam, Kay. I'm so sorry. Hindi ko alam kung anong size ko sa soy. <laughs> Pero sa Triumph, baka pwede. Ping ko na lang sa'yo. Okay? <laughs> Parang magre-regalo ka yata ng panty this Christmas. Sana kinakambahan ako. Okay? Sige. Ito medyo na nasa Miss Universe question tayo. Um, one of um, siya, siya's question actually. Ito. What do you think makes you a strong woman? I wouldn't say strong kasi nga parang mga mga lowest of the low moments din naman ako pero strong siguro because I can express myself easily I mean I don't I don't pretend I don't hide and kung ano yung nakikita mo sa akin yun na yun so kung galit ako you know people around me can actually sense that I'm mad Um, if I'm happy, you know, the people around me so, um, kita nila sa akin. So, yun, and, um, I mean, I'm not comparing myself to other <clears throat> people na sobra talaga yung pinagdaanan mo. I have friends who've been through worse, sadly na when it comes to relationship. But, for me, you know, I've, I've survived so many heartaches. Um, and um, epic feel relationships. 
So, feeling ko it made me who I am. Um, plus, you know, the work, um, the work that I've experienced also. So, yung trabaho ko sa sa Converges and even sa HP. Tapos now, with um, Open Text. So, um, yung roles na ginagampanan ko dun sa mga naging trabaho ko. The role that I'm playing now with my family. Um, parang tas panganay pa ako. So, parang default. Dapat strong. Um, tsaka matiisin talaga ako. So, kahit na medyo mahirap na or nahirapan na ako. Yeah, I rant about it. Yeah, I cry. Um, you know, I get mad. I lash out. But, you know, hindi naman ako hindi ako kasi basa-basa nagkukwit. So, I, I make sure na I give all my effort before, you know, giving up. Katulad nyo na sabi ko kami. Hmm, so, siguro, siguro yun yung definition ko of being strong. Um, but this one, uh, despite your previous heartbreaks and disappointments, what makes you still believe in love? Wow. Um, ano ba? Um, because of my family, I mean, I, I, I see my parents, you know, yung, um, yung struggles nila before, what sacrifices they gave, um, for our family, and then now, my brother, um, with, um, his wife, um, kumbaga parang, yung challenges na, na they face, Tapos, you know, and, and I see them, I witness how they got back up and um, fix their their relationship. Um, and then my friends, um, na mas malala ang pinagdaanan sa akin. Kasi ba ako, parang, I mean, hindi pa naman ako kay Nasal or never ako nagkaanak. But, you know, I have friends who um, got married, um, have kids, and then, they were, um, they were heartbroken. Um, dami nilang pinagdaanan. So, uh, pinagpalit sila sa iba. And, now, you know, they, they, um, they, they work hard to make themselves heal. So, ayun, para sa akin, since I see people around me, my loved ones, um, work out on on what they have now and hindi sila nagpo-focus dun sa um sa hurt nila din hmm. so it's a bit nang habang may habang may buhay may pag-asa okay ganun okay <coughs> next so kay Shannon naman to galing diba? very supportive ang high school friends ko what are your top 3 realizations during this week <laughs> Parang Miss Universe question talaga itong question mo siya. Ay, naku ako paniwala. Ano ba? Top 3 ra realization. Una, ano talaga, hindi ako ho homebody. As in, super hindi ako homebody. I mean, na, na first week of the lockdown, parang medyo nababaliw-baliw na ako. Um, buti nga may super accommodating kami neighbors. So, you know, I, I get to talk to them. Um, tapos, ano ba ba? Um, siguro with, you know, with um, Chico being, ano yung pamangkin ko, sorry. Um, being so clingy to me na itong lockdown. Parang, you know, siguro I realized also na parang okay. Parang gusto ko na magkaroon ng sarili kong anak. Ano nga ito? Um, impart my knowledge. Siguro yung isa pa would be, hindi porkit nasa bahay ka, yung kakain ka lang nakain. Hindi totoo yun. Exact lang yung mga nakapost sa Facebook. Kasi nga parang it's just there eh. So parang, misa na mo, oh, kain na naman. So, basta yung pinaka, ano talaga, yung pinaka realization ko, may gada ko kong body. So, after all of this, kagala talaga ako. And then, I have a special guest. Come in. Say hi to my followers. Come. <laughs> say hi. There. Say hi. 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 So this is Chico. This is Chico. <laughs> what are you doing? See? What's that? It's I. Uh, mm -hmm. This. Is that a penguin? A 
Okay, wir sind sehr freundlich. Ah, okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, wir können mal mit Bye. Okay, last question na tayo, okay? Bago pa, bago pa katawagin ulit ni Chico kasi maglalaro na kami. Last question. Question from Vin or Marvin. Ask ko lang, paano ka maging akin? <laughs> Ang cheesy. Um, ano ba? Well, like what I mentioned before, I just, you know, need someone who would want to be with me and help me grow as a person. Yung hindi ako, um, kasi yung mga bad experiences ko with my ex, parang, um, hindi ako nag-grow kasi um, with the relationship that I had with him. Um, I, I just want someone who would be there for me. Um, and, you know, I'll be doing the same thing. I have, you know, I have so much love to give. So, um, you know, it's just be there. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see each other um, after this COVID-19 thing. We'll see. We'll go from here. Okay? So, yeah. <laughs> so yun, I think that's about it, you guys. Um, thank you so much for um, watching my video today. And, you know, stay safe. A four S's. <laughs> I know you're sick and tired of hearing that, but, you know, Let's just stay at home and um, let's let's work together as a country. We don't need to see that. Dayo, ano? Video video call na lang muna for now, and all of this will be over. So let's just pray, um, pray hard um, for this to be, to be over. Because we have a lot of people who are going to be hurt. Thanks guys. Happy Easter Sunday. Peace.